meeting to order the campus reconfiguration committee and will the clerk take roll please brewer right. key here manning here glassburner here gentis here turk here frank williamson yep fleming you have six of your nine present in law thanks if it's properly noticed he was properly noticed mr Jeff. we have before us a 14-point agenda do we have a motion to approve the agenda I'll move Motion by Manning, second by Gentis to approve the agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 Agenda right. is approved. We also have minutes from our December 12th, 2023 meeting. Anybody have any corrections, comments, or updates needed to those minutes? Hearing none, I'll declare those to be approved. Item six on our agenda is public comment. Do we have anyone here in person or online that wishes to comment to this committee? Doesn't look like it. Um, down to item number seven, which is reports, starting with a grounds cleanup day. By next week. Yep. So I spoke with Josh um, before the first snowstorm, and he said that with the snow coming, he was hoping they the ground would harden. And as soon as they get through the snow events, they would like to start doing the grounds cleanup. They may start by cordoning off certain areas and doing it just little bits at a time. So, um, more to follow on that once we have a solid timeline, but to anticipate starting in the next, I would say two weeks. Uh, so, so that's exciting. Sounds like we'll have some ground freezing weather coming. So. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Unfortunately, with the snow load, it'll insulate the ground. We'll have the ground freeze. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. No, that was the parking lot, so we can start there. It's melted underneath. <laughs> All right, so item B under reports is status update on reconfiguration process. So I think the status is we're we're moving. Um, as you will see, or as you well know, we had eight um, submittals for the RFP process. Only seven price proposals. So one company went through all the work of submitting the actual proposal and then didn't send us a price, which okay. huh, seems a little strange, but um, so that's good. I we are seeing a little increased interest in the process. I've had a couple of people reach out on you know what's going on and asking for an update. So I think realistically. Once we have the vendor selected, I think it will be time for us to really start deciding um, what we want our process to look like. So I think it would be wise for everyone to be thinking about their thoughts and ideas and suggestions of what you want that process to look like, what your suggestions are, um, and then we should start formulating that, what you envision, what you'd like to see, and then we can start putting that together because it seems like June and July are a long ways away, but they're going to come very quickly. And if we can be ready to accept proposals, then once we know the viability of those buildings, I think that will be outstanding. So that gives us five, six months to, to work on it and get it to where we want it to be and make sure it's legally solid. So that's my recommendation. I don't know if anyone else has any um, thoughts or ideas or suggestions or comments? Comments, questions? Uh, can you flesh that out a little bit, Candace? I you lost me a couple places there. Okay. <laughs> Which I, part? You threw in legally. What? what what's we want to make there? sure if there are any legal disclaimers, disclosures. We obviously, we want to have the attorney review our process and make sure that you know we're covering our bases liability-wise and that the language is proper, that we don't say anything we shouldn't. I just prefer, especially when it's going to be a formal proposal and selection process, I think it needs to be very clearly stated how we're going to go through it. I think we need to follow it. I think there need to be parameters set in place so that we're protected from any allegation of favoritism or backdooring or anything. And shenanigans. Shenanigans, yes. Sure, we have a level playing field and Right. No favoritism, nobody. You know, are we going to 
Is it going to be based on a point system? Is it going to be based on, you know, how, what are our criteria going to be? Clearly define them and make it a very transparent process so that everyone, you know, there's, it doesn't look like anything's hiding behind closed doors and, you know, things like that. I just think when we are being looked at and making such an important decision, I just think we need to be as, as transparent as we can. Absolutely. Any questions or comments on that from committee members? Are tonight you maybe you've discussed this before? Are we planning to winnow the eight down to another number? Correct. That's why we're having the close Both sessions. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Else. Anybody come forward about billing at all? We'll discuss that in closed session. That's what I mean. Yeah. Last. Another open session questions. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then we are on to items eight and nine on our agenda, which are closed session topics. Looking to go into closed session for uh, pursuant to statute section 1985 per N1 per NE, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing in public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. For two items here, one, a report on potential future partnership opportunities and a review of facility assessment proposals and bids, both using the same citation for the closed session. I'll make that motion to go. Motion for key to I'll enter second. closed session. Second from Fleming. And, and Mr. Chairman, I would recommend we allow any board member to stay. Yes, and any board members present who are not committee members are welcome to stay in this closed session. And I don't think we have any online, so. Okay. It doesn't look to be that. All right. Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? So it is a unanimous vote to go into closed session. Okay, thank you. Okay, go ahead with your motion, Mr. Brewer. A motion to uh, invite Venture and whatever the other two. Venture for and HGA. Yeah. Do a presentation. Oh, talking about right. We're looking at Friday, January 26th, starting at 11 a.m. for that. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? So uh, setting future meeting date. Well, we've, we've talked about that. What will be? Friday, January 26th. That will be our next meeting. Future agenda items other than interviewing or let's see the presentations. I don't think anything else for that day other than consideration after the presentations, right? I'm aware. Okay. Update on their meeting with UW Richmond. Yes, could be if I'm involved. Yep. Or with Flavel or whoever you meet. Yep. Whoever to meet with. Yep. And I'm assuming that if we're considering awarding the bid, that might involve a closed session. Yeah. Yeah. Or if we're having updates on those other discussions, there might be a closed session involved then after we hear the presentations. Potentially. Potentially. So, okay. Yeah. We'll see how that shakes. All right. Then we are down to item 14 on our agenda, which is. Oh, sure. Penny makes the motion. I think of that. I'll second it. Second by Fleming to adjourn until. Friday, January 26th at 11 a.m. here in the county boardroom. All those in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Is there all Thank you. Is there okay. aye. Yes. <laughs> Where are your students from? Okay. How's your campaign going, Gary? Oh, my.